Okay, so in tonight's version, we have made a very slight, and that is the point of all of this, a very slight modification to the cutting tip for the top. Before, it had flat edges at the top that were uh, little wedge shapes, and we have the same wedge shape now, only that the leading uh, point, the leading part is a, um, is a point. And in theory, that'll allow us to more easily um, cut into the orange initially. Okay, so the point behind this part of it is we want to make it so that we can cut a perfect circle around the top of the orange and around the bottom of the orange. So I have to cut all the little plastic pieces off there. That should be good. And again, the reason that I built this uh, modularly like this is so I don't have to print this every time I want to change this. I should be able to pop this out. Of course, it's not going to be that easy. There we go. Take that into the new one. And should be one of those that lines up that direction. That's right. And it goes right into the top, like that. OK, so in theory, this should cut into the top very easily. And when I turn it, it should cut a pretty perfect circle around the top. Let's find out. Uh, take the stem out. And apply a small amount of force, but not much. And then start twisting this. And I'm trying to, to turn it as little as possible and apply as little force as possible when I turn it. Uh, and that was fairly smooth. Fairly easy. We're going we're to try the other side now. Uh, again, I'm just kind of lightly pulling it across the top. But as soon as those, as soon as those blades catch, uh, it, it becomes a lot more of a difficult turn there. But this is pretty easy. Okay, so we have our cut along the top and the bottom. Take the sticker off. And so again, we're going to take this part here has these two little blades that are triangle shaped. So this part here at the top has these two little blades that are triangle shaped. We're going to take those and again, very, uh, I'm not going to say gently, but we're not applying a lot of force at all. We're just going to try to be consistent about it and push it in a straight line towards the top. And you can feel it when you reach that top edge, it kind of gives. Okay, so now we've got a pretty solid cut right across that. I'm going to do the same thing, just a little bit to, the, to one side. Okay, and I'm going to do this a few times now. Didn't, uh, didn't get that one far enough back. There we go. And as you can see, I've started to kind of drift off to the side, so I'm, I'm no longer cutting it from the center. That's a mistake. But I don't think it's a big one. I don't think this will matter too much. If I can stop making it worse, that would be great. Noticing when I push this forward that I'm actually starting to rely on this uh, tip being up here at this point. I might make a modification to this that has more of a of a, 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 a an area at the front for my fingers to touch.
Okay, um, I think that's pretty good. Flip it around and use the back end here. And that came off pretty well. Pretty easily that time. Um, I meant to record what kind of orange this is, and I don't remember off the top of my head. I will try to find out for the next video. So I'm not applying much force at all. I'm just applying a kind of the bare minimum I can and letting the shape of the tool do the work. As you can see, this is pretty thick skin on this one. there. Okay. Now I still have a lot of this stuff on here and I believe this is called pith. Um, I'm not sure about that. I need to look that up. And of course I have still have the, the end parts. So I believe do that. Yep. Look at that. That was pretty easy. I wonder if there's a, a certain shape I could use, a certain part of this to uh, catch some of this and, and peel it off easier. Okay, and then we go to the other end and do the same thing. Again, this is a topic that I need to look into, but maybe uh, maybe there's some shape I could use here to make this part easier too. So as you can see, that worked pretty well. We are moving right along. That um, new cutting edge here seems to have actually done the job pretty well. Uh, it didn't cut into the orange itself, it looks like. That's really just a more matter of depth than anything else but that seems to have done the job. So if you have any suggestions for tomorrow's uh, print, please let me know. Again, the point of this is to make super small adjustments to this every, uh, every day. Uh, I'm, not trying to make, uh, I'm not trying to make any huge steps each day. I'm trying to make the smallest possible improvement I can um, that will actually have some kind of tangible benefit and just see where all of this goes. Thank you for watching, and if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. I, uh, and, and as always, I am uh, very curious in your feedback. Suggestions and comments are welcome and encouraged. Thank you, and have a great day.